Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery Course. We have been discussing in the past few lectures about the, you know, the vascular supply and the arterial surgeries. We have been discussing about the arterial stenosis in the previous lecture. We have been discussing about the arterial occlusive diseases and the critical limb ischemias and the acute leg ischemias. But today, more specifically, we'll be talking about the amputation. Amputation is, you know, the surgically resecting or cutting the limb owing to the macroscopic tissue dam damage or development of the gangrene. Now, the gangrene can be because of so many so many causes. Uh, there can be peripheral vascular disease, there can be diabetes, there can be traumatic amputations. But more specifically today, if we talk about the outline of the today's lecture, we'll be talking about the indications for the amputations. Uh, what is a deadly limb? What is a dead loss limb? What is a dead limb? And in these categories, what does this actually fit into them? We'll be talking about those. We'll be talking about the uh, overall amputations, we'll be talking about upper limb amputations, the, the level of the upper limb amputations, we'll be talking about the distal amputations like, uh, you know, the, the lower limb amputations, more specifically uh, in detail uh, about the baloney amputations uh, and uh, the lower limb amputations. Why? Because most of the time, if we talk about the peripheral vascular disease, if we talk about the diabetes, uh, the the development of the process of the atherosclerosis, um, you know, you, they usually extend, gangrene extends from more distal to the proximal vasculature. So, uh, the level of the amputation is somehow very, very much important. We'll be talking how we are going to determine the level of the amputation. We'll be talking about the general principles of the amputation. Uh, how you have to make a skin flap, how you have to make a muscle flap, what principles you have to keep in mind when you're ligating the vessels, what principles you have to keep in mind when you're dealing with the nerves, how sharply the nerve should cut, when the nerve should be ligated, and actually how stump is created. And we'll be talking about the um, the balance between uh, the increased function of the limb in case of the distal um, amputations and the low risk of the complication in case of the proximal uh, amputations. So precisely, uh, we'll be talking about the almost all the indications like already discussed, dead limb, deadly limb, dead lost limb. We'll be talking about the foot amputations, distal and transmetatarsal amputations, the indication of their, their process, their procedure, how they perform. But if we talk about the major operations, the choice of the operations we have is like above knee operation and below knee uh, amputations and through knee amputations, we'll be discussing them in detail. We'll be talking about the landmarks for the baloney amputation in detail. We'll be talking about the uh, the procedure or the steps you have to follow in case of the uh, baloney amputations. More precisely, we'll be talking about the long posterior flap amputations and the skew flap amputations. If we talk about the uh, above knee amputations, we'll be talking about the level of the incision, the level of the uh, you know the flap. Uh, the, particularly the equal anterior posterior, what procedure you're going to adopt in case of the ischemic and the non-ischemic limb. Then we'll be talking about uh, through knee amputations or knee disarticulations, which are becoming famous day by day. And you actually save the whole length of the femur and the patella, which you do not save in case of the below knee or above knee amputations. And we'll be talking more in detail. Uh, then obviously we'll be talking about the post-operative care of the amputated limb, how you're dealing, how you're going to deal with the post-operative pain, how you are going to take care of the gut limb, exercise and mobilization, and the role of the physiotherapy, how you're going to avoid the DVT and other complications. 
At the end, we'll be talking about in detail about the complications which are related to the amputation and how you are psychosocially rehabilitate your patient after the amputation. So we have all the lectures on our on website, which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures, not only the general surgery course, but also other courses that are available. For the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com. Thank you.